Good morning, good morning, or is it, or good afternoon, where is everybody today? Come join me. <clears throat> oh, I see somebody. Hello, let me know who's here. Say hi, don't be shy. <clears throat> Get a bit of a tickle. I'll get a little drink there. <clears throat> oh. Come on down. I have all kinds of cool stuff to show you today. We don't want to miss out. <clears throat> all right, I'll just wait another minute and then I will get started. So I had lots of cool stuff to show you today. I managed to clear a spot on my desk. You should see the, the back half of it. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for not making, um, making doing a Facebook Live last week. I was getting ready for our big Don't Rock the Block party. And I'm still trying to get organized and put everything away from that. And, and then I'm starting on new projects. I have a class coming up this weekend at my church and I'm working on tea make and takes so I managed to clear a spot on my desk <laughs> to show you some stuff today so <clears throat> and I've um I it smells very citrusy I used my goo gone on my desk to get rid of some of my glue so I'm in good shape so let me know who's here who's watching I have all kinds of fun stuff to show you today so come come along and join me <clears throat> I don't I see there's people watching but nobody's saying their names. So let me know who's here. Um so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I have a <clears throat> I seem to have a little tickle. I apologize. I'm going to get another <clears throat> quick drink of water here. It seems like <clears throat> it seems like whenever I it's like Tally Tally starts to bark and I get a tickle. <clears throat> Hi Nedra. I did. I've got lots of rest. I'm feeling feeling well rested. So thank you. Um, so Nedra was at our event last weekend. So anyway, um, like I've already mentioned, last weekend was. Um, our big event that I put on with another demonstrator, Kathy Williams, and we had 64, 63 or 64, 63 people over two days, and it was lots of fun. So I thought I would show you some of the, the things that everybody got, the things we made, and so no actual stamping today, but lots of great stuff to show you. And if there's any projects that you see that you would like me to show you how to make them then put that in the comments and I'll see if I can incorporate it into a Facebook live over the next few weeks um, <clears throat> so anyway um, this was called don't rock the block and the block of course is your acrylic block that you don't want to rock when you're stamping right you want to keep it straight um, so anyway everybody got when they on their desk on their seat at their at their table at their seat they got a goodie bag like this and you might recognize the paper we made the goodie bags from the <clears throat> dandy designs design a serious paper that's one of the free celebration um items and then in front of their bag um everybody got one of these and this is the craft 
the craft gift boxes and Kathy um, cut these templates out on her scan and cut and we decorated all the boxes there were four different boxes there was this one and um, three others there was the one with taco fiesta decorations one with um, share a milkshake and one with what was the other one share a milkshake taco oh the bunnies the, the easter bunnies um, and then this inside that you're seeing <clears throat> is a half chamois. And this actually is engraved down into the chamois. So um, the logo was designed by my good friend Terry Patterson, who's one of my um, good friends and customers. And she came to the event on Saturday and she designed this logo for us. Isn't that cool? And it's even got the little stamping up um, a copyright, I don't know if I can get it in focus, but you can't really read it <clears throat> on the camera, but, <clears throat> and then another demonstrator, um, Kirsten Del Rosario, she lives in the Bay Area, she engraved all these for us, she has, I forget the name of the machine, but it's a laser engraving machine, and she engraved all these for us, um, she also did, I've, I don't have it, um, I think I left it downstairs, but I'll show you another time, but she also did a little bone folder for Kathy and I too as a little extra um, gift, which was really nice. But <clears throat> these um, these are chamois, so you can use them to clean your um, blocks and you'll still be able to um, see the logo because it's engraved. I don't know if you can kind of see the 3D effect, but that's actually cut out there. So isn't that cool? So everybody got one of those. <clears throat> in a little box and you can keep it in the box they could keep it in the box or they can put it in something else so that was that and then in um in their goodie bags everybody got um a stamp set and so this this is an extra so connie if you were watching connie connie morrison she's one of my team and she was supposed to come to the event and um, she lives up in Bishop where they have a lot of, um, had a lot of snow and ice on the roads. And so she wasn't able to come, um, because the drive would have been too hard. Um, so if you're watching Connie, <clears throat> cover your eyes or, and your ears, or if you're watching the replay, skip forward so you don't see everything in your, <laughs> in your goodie bag, if you want it to be a surprise when you get it. But anyway, everyone got a stamp set <clears throat> and it was either this one. <clears throat> or um or oh that's the same one um the share a milkshake the taco fiesta or the easter bunny which let's see i have that right here oh this one so everybody got one of those four stamp sets and so they could um trade um you know everybody could trade if they wanted if you already had this stamp set um, you could trade with somebody on your table um, for a different one. And then, let's see what else. All kinds of goodies. So everybody got um, a pack of dimensionals, which um, were needed for the make and takes. Um, everybody got a packet of these um, pastel adhesive back sequins. Um, and then... Some people got, a quarter of the people got these embellishments, and then some people got um, the dragonfly trinkets, some people got the little loose flowers, and then some people got, I think, the milky dots. And again, so because we gave people different, um, people could, you know, trade with each other if they wanted. And then everybody got one of these, a twine, um, some people got this color, and then some people got the blue, some people got, what is the third color? I don't know what the third color is. Everybody got a tiny blending brush, a new one. Um, they're so soft, so cute. Um, and what else? And then everybody got a bunch of um, celebration paper DSPs. And I actually did, I'm going to show you in a little bit, I actually did a presentation. One of my presentations was on using... Um, the designer series papers as your card base and so each one of my cards that I um, 
showed used almost a half sheet of designer series paper. So everybody got all these um, lots of um, papers to use. So that was everything in the goodie bags except um, everybody got a package of um, make and takes. So everybody did six make and takes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll show you those. Um, and like I say, if you see things as, as I'm going through everything, if you see things that you would like to see how to make, then post that in the comments and I'll try and show you on, um, it'll give me ideas for what you'd like to see on future Facebook Lives. So be sure to, to, to show me though, to tell me. So these were the make and takes. So um, Kathy designed three and I designed three. So let me show you Kathy's. And we used the stamp sets, four of them used the stamp sets that people got in their goodie bags. And that way it gave them ideas on how to use their stamp sets. So here's the Easter Bunny. Isn't that cute? An Easter treat for you. Happy Easter. This is that pretty graduated ribbon. So there's Easter Bunnies. And this paper is from the Dandy Designs the Celebration paper. And then we had the Share a Milkshake. This is another one of Kathy's. Um, Share a Milkshake. You're the cherry on top. Life is sweeter with you. So that's cute. And this again is the paper from the Dandy Designs um, celebration paper. And then we've got kind of a more masculine one using the On the Ocean bundle. It's a birthday card. Hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. So that's cool. That stamp is cool down there, isn't it? Um, so that's a fun one. So those are Kathy's make and takes. And then uh, my here's my make and takes. So I here's my one using the Taco Fiesta stamp set. And so this one, um, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. <laughs> so fun. Spectacular. So that's fun. And I was telling everyone at the event that my sister-in-law, her birthday's tomorrow. And my husband's family owns a lemon and avocado ranch in Southern California. Um, actually, not so much lemons anymore, but avoc mostly avocados. And my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law um, run, um, run, the, run the ranch. And so she's getting, so obviously they eat a lot of avocados. So she's getting one of, one of these cards is on her, on the way to her for her birthday. So I think she'll get a kick out of that. And then the other two cards were this one using the Petal Park um, stamp and punch bundle, which is really pretty, I think. And then inside these, there's no sentiments in the Petal Park stamp set. So I use the sentiments and these, this flower image from sentiment, the Sentimental Park bundle that is that kind of coordinates with it. Um, it's like a really good complement to the Petal Park bundle. So that's that one. And then my last one was this one using the So Much Love. Oops, it's getting a bit beat up and battered <laughs> um uses the so much love stamp set that was another one that people had in their goodie bags and actually this was the one which that was on the this box also um so so much love and this is one of those book binding folds each and every day so those were the make and take so we had make we had stations set up that people could um, walk around and do their stamping, and then they did their assembly back at their back at their um, desks. I, I keep saying desks. I mean tables, not desks. So we also did some swaps. Some people um, participated in the swaps, and so that's always fun to um, because Kathy and I were organising. We got we got um, one of each swap also. I'm sorry, my desk is a bit um, blurry. I'm not sure why, but I think if I hold the cards up there in focus, okay. So we did two different swaps. We did a holiday swap and a fun fold swap. So here's the holiday ones. So this is a Mother's Day card. And this was made by, and it's using the Celebration 
the beautiful um, um, Dainty Delights paper. And this is by Kirsten Lockwood, who, came, who attended. So that's pretty. And then here's a St. Patrick's Day, really fun St. Patrick's Day card. Really fun. Love the shaded spruce. This is by Susan Kopp. A good friend is like a full loaf cleaver. Cleaver. <laughs> clover. A full leaf clover. Cleaver wouldn't be right, would it? Hard to find and lucky to have. Let me try that again. A good friend is like a four leaf clover. Hard to find and lucky to have. <laughs> so and she's embossed this. So that's pretty. And this little, an Easter card using the Easter bunny. This is by Karen Kashiwagi, who's a good friend and a good friend of mine and demonstrator. She comes to my classes sometimes. Beautiful Karen. Love your coloring on here. And here's another St. Patrick's Day card, a little bit different. This paper, I think, is the back of the one of the On the Farm papers, I think. I think it's the one that has the dark red on the, the cherry cobbler. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And this was by Mary Middendorf. And then we've got a Father's Day card. That's got the strong, solid, dependable. It's got all the tools. And this paper, I think, is from the something chic. Is that what it's called? Tray chic or something? The designer series paper that's in the annual catalog. It's really pretty. You're, you're all that and more. It's your day. Build in some time for yourself. That's cute. And that, um, I don't know who that was by. That was anonymous. No name on that unless it fell out. So then we had fun fold swaps also. So here's the first one of the fun folds with the turtle. And this opens like this. Hey there. Another turtle. That's cute, isn't it? This is some more of the celebration paper. This was by Elisa Betts. And then this. Um, it's another one by Karen, Karen Kashiwagi. And I think this is um, this is one of the fun folds because she's got this beautiful, um, oh my gosh, I forget what you call this. It's kind of like an accordion, not an accordion fold or a drape fold or something, is it called? I forget. But anyway, really pretty. Love the colours on this one. There's the weave um, embossing folder. So that's by Karen. This one's really fun. This is an easel card. <laughs> and she's used the, um, this is by Sunday Keeling. And she's used the tech support stamp set. And then she's used some of the robots out of the robot kit. Look at the googly eyes. And it's an easel card. So I'm thinking of you. And then from the tech support stamp set, you, and then you check off the one that applies you auto complete me you are the one to my zero you capture my heart so that's pretty darn cute robot <laughs> um then we have a beautiful um i think this is called a bay window card the fold and this is using the i think it's called by the bay the paper it's really gorgeous it's got gold foiling on it and then this little um, shell opens up and there's the pearl inside you are a pearl rare and precious is that pretty and she's got wink of stella on the these little clam shells that is by jennifer nolan here's another turtle one using the same beautiful paper um, i mean it's not the same paper but it's from the same paper stack um, and this is a, another turtle fun fold yeah, very, very fun. It's very fun. It's really fun to participate in the swaps because then you get all these great ideas. And she's used that same paper there, but she's stamped on it. So there's that one. Here's one using the Et Owl from the Celebration. Also, who was this one? Let me make sure. Cindy Morris. Cindy Morris was this one. Did I tell you who made the other one? Yeah, Jennifer Nolan. Cindy Morris. Here's an owl one, very cute, little blue-eyed owl, sending well wishes your way. And look, there's a little box of Kleenex, that's from the, um, I forget what stamp set that is. 
Um, oh, Speedy Recovery. Speedy Recovery. Isn't that cute? Um, and this is by Kathy Rios. Very cute. Um, here's another fun fold. This is beautiful. For a special person on a special day. And then look at this. So it opens like all the way like this. And then it opens again here. So it's kind of like a card within a card. Isn't that beautiful? So she's used some celebration paper. And then I'm not sure what stamp set this is from. So she says, no, this is from D.D. Hames. But yeah, really pretty. And here's another one. Um, this is called a standing traveler card. And she's even given me directions. This is by Pauline Palmer. Sending happy thoughts. And this is paper from the annual catalog I forget the name but really pretty and this is one of the celebration this is the $100 um, celebration flower set um, happy for you I think it's called and so this stands up like this so she calls it a standing traveler card I'm not sure why traveler anyone got any ideas <laughs> but it's very pretty and like I say I've got to all the directions now to do it so that's Pauline Palmer I've got a couple more. This one is really beautiful. Look at this. So this, I've seen them done this way too. Um, and called something like a tower card. But she's actually got it sideways as a birthday card. And this is, I love this stamp set. This is the fern. I can never remember the full name of the, the fern. And then this paper is from Celebration. So it stands um, stands up like that, um, very pretty, and then it folds flat to go in an envelope. You could do like a wedding cake, couldn't you? So I think of a wedding card, that would be fun. And this is by Karen Jackson, and it says it's inspired by Lisa Curcio, who's another one of our top demonstrators. So very pretty. So Karen Jackson, and a couple more. This is a thank you card. Oh, that's cute. And it's got the the from the with the tea cup of tea, and she's kind of mimicked the designer series paper here. Look with the flowers. That's fun. Let's get together soon. This is Donna Betts, and then this is the last one, and this is by Susan Cop, and it's another fun fold one. So. Um, just stands like that. Rainy days are better with you. And she's used the um, playing in the rain design a series paper and bundle. Oh, look at the raindrops here. That's cute, isn't it? Where she's put the rain in there. So that, and she's even got paper on the back too. Great way to use the design a series paper. So that's Susan Cop. That one. We also had out, if people ran out of things to do, we had... Um, Kathy bought some retired um, a retired card kit and we had ma um, people make cards if they wanted to and just leave them there and then we're going to donate them to an organization. I'm not sure if we've decided which one yet. Somebody we were asking for just suggestions. Someone suggested um, the Ronald McDonald house. Um, so some people did that. And then all while we were... Um, Throughout the day, Kathy and I did short presentations and they were optional. We had a little area set up at the front of the room where people could come and sit and watch. Um, and we had a couple of TV screens set up too. And so people could come and watch presentations. We told them what they were going to be on. If they weren't interested, they um, could just carry on stamping so or chit-chatting with their friends. But one of the presentations, I'm not going to show you um, all my presentations today, but one of the ones I did was on the using your designer series paper. And I thought it would be good to show you those because we only have a couple of weeks left of celebration. So there's not too much time left to get all these lovely products. Um, and of course, there's only a couple of weeks left to get um, the Boho Blue um, machine. The only way you can get this now, the blue one, is by signing up to get your starter kit and it's an amazing deal i haven't seen a deal this good 
in a long time. And in fact, we've already added a number of people to my Groovy Stampers team because it's such a, a great um, deal. So option one, if you want the blue machine, you get the um, for one hundred and twenty nine dollars, you get one hundred and seventy five dollars worth of products and the machine. Um, so it's like a super deal. And so you get to choose all those free products, whichever ones you like. And if you join my team, you'll be part of the Groovy Stampers. And we have a we have a really fun team. We do weekly Zoom, weekly, monthly Zoom meetings. We have a Facebook group where we do card challenges and kind of other 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 um thing fun things. And then we have a quarterly in-person meeting for our for my local team. And most of my team are hobby demonstrators. Most are just doing this for um, the discount and the community. There's something about being in a community of like-minded, crafty people that is just um, a real, it's been a real blessing in my life, um, for sure. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. There's just a couple of weeks left. But there's also all these products that you can get free with um, orders. So there are four different designer series papers. There's this one um, called Favoured Flowers. There's this one on the day at the farm, which has some fun scenes and the great for kids cards and then there's this beautiful one dainty flowers um which is uh makes it really easy to make some very simple pretty cards and then there's a another pack at the hundred dollar these are all at the fifty dollar level there's at the hundred dollar level there's a big pack that you can get that's got let's see where is it um 48 sheets double-sided sheets um, and that's what we use to make the bags for our, our event. Um, and that's free with a $100 um, order. But um, so I thought it, as everybody got some designer series paper in their goodie bags, I thought it would be a great idea to show them, show everybody ways to use it. So I made lots of different fun folds using the designer series paper. So this is one that I made that's um, a gatefold card and each one of these uses almost a half a sheet of the designer series paper and again if there's anything you see that you'd like me to um, to make then let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can do that in one of my Facebook lives this is another gatefold card it's made in a similar way it's called a diamond gatefold card and I saw I think this is another one that I saw Lisa Curcio making and it opens like this the other side this side should really open like this but I stuck the ribbon down without realizing that it wouldn't open all the way so um, but when it's closed it looks it looks pretty so that's um, a gatefold and then this is a really simple one, but with just a couple of touches makes it look really beautiful. This is just a sheet of um, a half a sheet of designer series paper that's scored and attached to a piece of cardstock. And then I added these this um, border here and um, some other dies for the sentiment. This one I saw, um, I think it was Tammy White who did something similar to this with another paper a while back so here's this one and then this uses the same uh, fold but it's the farm paper and you can make a great scene so I did this one for a grandson to an amazing grandson happy birthday so smart so fun so sweet and so wonderful so and again using one of the um, what are the borders called basic borders I think is what they're called so you get you get four or five different ones or maybe six this is one of them and then this is one of them and this could be used kind of like clouds but it also kind of mimics these hill these trees along here so I thought that worked out well and then one more I did um, an Easter card so this is all using the free celebration paper and this is another of the um, the borders I put the little Easter bunny on it and I didn't stamp anything here I left that 
blank to, to write on. Um, and then this one um, is a gift card holder. Let me show you the, let me take out the gift card and show you how it, goes, how it goes in. So again, this um, uses a, about a half sheet of designer series paper, but it actually is in a regular card base this time. And it has this little kind of feature in the middle that you could attach some images, some die cut images to, if you like, ice tied ribbon round mine. And then the gift card just goes in here like this. And this one, I've seen a few people, this is very popular at the moment. In fact, it's funny because I, I had my presentation already. I'd been working on it the last couple of weeks. And then on Saturday morning, while I was having a quick cup of coffee and looking at my email, I saw um, Patty Bennett doing a post with this same um, fold. So I have seen it a little bit um, amongst other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. So you may have seen this one too, but there's some variations on it. So there's that one. And then I did a taco one also. Um, so this one would be fun to give to someone with maybe a gift card for a Mexican restaurant. Um, so your nacha, your, so this one says, long time no taco, your nacho, uh, your nacho average friend. And this is using the day at the farm designer series paper that I thought went well um, with the vegetables on it. So that's, and I've got some black twine tied. So that was another fold using the designer series paper. And then the last one I did was this pocket, envelope pocket, envelope flap card that I've seen um, a few people doing too. Um, and this is using the day at the farm paper and the silly goose stamp set. And so this just opens like this. Thanks, sending a big honking thanks. So. With this one, you just need to have some kind of image on the front that's that's popped up with dimensionals so that you can tuck the flap underneath. And so you, this uses um, a half sheet of designer series paper, or al almost. So there's that one, and then I have one other one. So you can do this either, either orientation. You can do it upright like this, or you can do it this way. So this is using the Favoured Flowers designer series paper. And I think this is my favorite paper in it, this one with the Calypso coral, it's really pretty. And so here I just fussy cut some of the um, flowers um, out and um, attached it with dimensionals. K Kristen says she likes the, the goose. Yeah, I like the goose too, the, the silly goose stamp set is cute. Um, and then this just opens like this. And you can decide which way round you want to put the paper. If you wanted the flowers more on the outside, you could do it that way too. And then you could do the flap the opposite way. You could have this showing. So you have lots of options with this beautiful paper. And then again, like I say, that just tucks behind that like that. So I showed how to make all these and I had all the, the dimensions for them. So if you'd like to see how to make any of them, let me know and I'll see if I can do that on a Facebook Live. So let's see, I think that was about it. So I, I'll show you over the next few weeks, I'll show you the other presentations that I did and maybe make some of the cards. But um, anyway, it was lots of fun and it was quite exhausting, but well worth it. Um, and I think everybody had a good time. We don't have a date for the next one yet. We're, we're working on it. We've got to look at all the um, uh, Stampin' Up! calendar, when all the new things are coming out, um, and then our, our summer schedules, my schedule, Kathy's schedule, um, and see um, you know when we can, and also check with the venue too to um, see when we can do another one. But as soon as we have a date scheduled, I will let you know. So anyway, next week I will be back for sure with some stamping or some, or some, some card making. And um, thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked seeing everything and give you some maybe ideas. Don't forget about Celebration just being around for a couple more weeks. My host code is at the top of the screen there and my um, website. And so go um, 
go check out all the celebration items. They've actually added some additional celebration items that are from um, the regular um, catalogs. Um, so if you've got all the, <laughs> some people have already got all the, the um, items in the brochure. So if you've got everything in here, there's a few other options online now too, but just a couple of weeks left. All right, well, have a great rest of the day and rest of the week, everybody. And thanks for joining me. And I will see you all next week. Bye for now.